Okay, Ben. Two teenagers and a grandmother had to be rushed to area hospitals after a freak accident in Utica. A woodworking project involving microwave parts took a terrifying turn. This happened on the 4th of July outside of an apartment building near 21 Mile Road and Van Dyke. Nick Monticelli reports the 18 year old son is in the worst condition while police are urging others to be careful. Good afternoon. This is really a difficult one for the first responders and especially for the family. This 18 year old is still in critical condition at the hospital. All of it happening in this apartment complex and the Utica police chief saying while the artwork is neat, it's way too dangerous. Right now, things are pretty hopeful. Utica Police Chief Sean Cody says the 18 year old with the most severe injuries has extensive electrical burns to his lungs and is in a medically induced coma. This after an art project went wrong behind this apartment building in Utica. This is called wood fracking as shown in this YouTube video with nearly 3 million views. It makes interesting patterns using jolts of electricity in the wood. In the Utica case, a father, son and the son's girlfriend were using this transformer taken out of a microwave. When the power was flowing, the 18 year old was on his hands and knees. He lost his balance and fell onto the live wires. The electricity ran through him and his girlfriend when he fell onto her. His grandmother also ran over to help. She was shocked as well. Once something started taking place, I think the initial panic because they weren't exactly sure what was taking place. Um, it caused even more confusion and chaos as they tried to assist each other. The females were both hospitalized but should be okay. Tonight, police are warning about this little known art. Although the, the artworks are attractive and interesting, the, the, the downside of it is the risks just don't outweigh the, uh, the result at all. Just very, very scary um, and people don't know what they're dealing with when they start taking apart these components. The investigation into what happened is now complete and the Utica Police Department says it's a tragic accident. There will be no charges in Utica. Nick Monticelli, Local 4. OK, Nick, and because of how many people were hurt, multiple fire departments were called for help, including Utica, Shelby Township and Sterling Heights.